Routine tests of the emergency alert warning system are extremely important. If you are an early bird, your day could begin with hearing an alert on your TV or radio. So there's going to be um, an, a basic test standard test tone as well as a standard test message. And it will also let the community know that this is not connected to any emergency. So unless your TV or your radio is on, you won't be able to hear it. Um, but if you're looking forward to tuning in, it's going to be at 420 in the morning. Uh, Thursday, October 5th. Guam Homeland Security spokesperson Jenna Blas shares the importance of the test. Our office did issue the information directly from FEMA and the FCC that they're holding this nationwide test. It's not the first time they've done this. Um, they've done this previously. I know the EAS, the Emergency Alert System test, has been run um, seven times before this. Uh, but the wireless emergency alert a uh, portion of the test is something that Guam, CNMI, and Mo I'm also tracking American Samoa won't receive. Um, we'll only be getting the emergency alert system test. Test results released from the 2021 emergency alert system demonstrated that the national EAS distribution architecture is largely effective as designed. Officials noting the test also shed light on challenges that impeded the ability of some EAS participants to receive and or retransmit the test alert. Officials noting the test also shed light on challenges that impeded the ability of some EAS participants to receive and or retransmit the test alert. The overall results of the 2021 nationwide EAS test showed that the test message reached 89.3% of the EAS participants, an increase of 82.5% in the 2019 tests. The overall retransmission success rate was 87.1%, which is an increase from 79.8% reported in 2019. It's a system Blas says is in place to make sure Guam is ready for the unexpected. This is something that's also practiced locally with our all hazard alert warning system sirens. We routinely test these. Uh, most recently, uh, we've done that back in August after our um, Typhoon Maywar. Uh, but this is something that we routinely practice as well. So to see that it's being done nationwide um, just further proves the, um, the point of its importance here. But Guam and the CNMI will not be included in the wireless emergency alert. The wireless emergency alert capability is for U.S.-based carriers. Um, so for Guam, we won't be able to receive those. Uh, we don't have those U.S.-based carriers that would typically be used for the wireless emergency alert. Um, if you go, if you travel nation, you know, to the continental United States and you bring your local cell phone with you um, and you're able to change it, uh, switch out your SIM, you'll be connected to a U.S.-based carrier. So you may receive it if you're off-island. Uh, but for here on Guam, since we don't have those, the U.S.-based carriers, we won't be receiving that wireless emergency alert. She says, however, efforts are underway to make it possible. Guam Homeland Security Office of Civil Defense are working closely with our local telecommunication partners to see what types of avenues are available for us. Um, there is a, a requirement uh, for a buy-in from local telecommunication companies, and so there are a lot of discussions about where that type of funding would come from from and what that would look like. So we're working with not only local telecommunication companies, but also with FEMA to see what types of avenues are there. Still, no timeline how soon that could become a reality, but Blas is confident the region is prepared and the public will be alerted as necessary. We really recognize all of these different forms of communication as just one form of communication and would utilize all in the event of, an, of a real emergency. Um, so we're looking at different ways to be more redundant with our capabilities, uh, not only with the sirens, we also utilize um, uh, mass email notifications. Our website is operational 24-7, especially during an emergency. Our, our social media is something that we utilize as well. Um, and we work very closely with our local media partners uh, that have the capability to issue those um, latest news broadcasts. Again, the emergency alert system will only go off on your television or radio for those in Guam and the CNMI Thursday at 4.20 a.m.